Welcome to Dynan and another edition of Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about cold air intakes. Uh, this is a cold air intake for the 550 and 750, the newer one. And it's really unique that in front of the radiator is where the scoop is. And the reason this is done is when the air hits the radiator in the front of your engine, okay, there's walls all around the radiator that are designed to trap the air in and force it through the radiator core. And since the radiator core resists the flow because it's got fins and stuff in the way, it builds up a positive pressure area in front of the radiator, like a very high pressure zone. Okay, which we then if we make an intake in front of the radiator, that high pressure zone now feeds cold air because it's in front of the radiator to the engine at a higher pressure and gives us what's known as ram air. Makes a lot more power. But it's really, really important that the plumbing is sealed all the way to the engine because if we let air into the plumbing anywhere, hot air from under the hood and typical under hood temperature of a modern car is around 200 degrees, okay? Uh, 200 degree air will lose air density because there's less oxygen, the engine will lose power. So we not only have to get in front of the radiator where it's cold, we have to keep it sealed all the way to the engine with nicely uh, fitted hoses and gaskets, which this product here does. It also doubles as a stress brace to structure reinforce the front of the car. The majority of cold air intakes in the aftermarket are just tubes under the hood with a uh, high flow filter on the end of the tube. But now it's exposed all the heat under the hood and that loss in air density robs a lot of power from what the cold air intake really could make. Um, other versions will use metal boxes and the metal boxes will have an air filter inside of it but the metal box also gets hot from the heat under the hood and then radiates that heat into the air filter. It makes like a little oven for the air filter to be inside of and also robs power. So you need to have an air intake in the high pressure zone in front of the radiator needs to be of a, uh, of a low thermal mass insulating type material like plastic or carbon fiber. It has to be sealed all the way to the engine to be effective at reducing temperature and providing a lot of cold air so the engine will make more power.